I have an announcement to make. I'm going to win. You're going to do it my way. Everybody's got to step it up. We've all got to work really hard to to get the music learned because I mean, obviously, we're trying to learn all this music like 16 songs in in like six weeks. So we really, I mean, we've got a lot of work to do. We've really got to got to work hard, especially the newer guys that have just joined us this semester. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of work to be done. It is the spring semester of 2004 at the University of Northern Iowa. The UNI Varsity Men's Glee Club prepares for its 13th tour of Europe. The semester has gotten off to a rough start. Entering his 30th year of directing, Robert Burns works tirelessly with the group. Many of these college students come from small towns in Iowa and the Midwest. Most have minimal vocal training. Nearly all of them are not music majors. Yet their goal is to sing in the great churches and cathedrals of Germany, Austria, and Italy. Their final destination is the largest church in the world, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. With the trip now just days away, the 67 young men struggle to reach the level of musical excellence that Burns demands. Sometimes in rehearsal, I think he's yelling just to yell, but after a while, throughout the semesters, you realize there's a method to his madness, and stuff starts sounding really well, and you realize he knows, he knows what he's doing. He's not just yelling for the sake of yelling. We're, we're not where we need to be. You waited too long to start. You procrastinated. So now you're going to have to work doubly hard. We thought we were done, but we weren't. We had a long ways to go and we just had to keep trudging at it. We got to keep practicing the music. They have to learn how to do all these things so that they can make absolutely extraordinary music, so that we can sing in St. Peter's in Rome, so that people will say, this is the best chorus of all the ones that have come through here, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, and, and so if we can do that, well then, we have to do that. If we end up canceling our concerts over in Europe, I'll f***ing cancel. If we cancel our concert here April 14th, I'll f***ing cancel it. Well, I'm not going to let you guys sing like a bunch of bird brains. I didn't think we were going to make it to Europe. I honestly thought that Bob was going to call him up and say, hey, we're not going to make it this year because we're just, we're just not ready. We need to get our act together. It's unbelievable. I think we can do it. We just need to buckle down and take care of it. Hey, this really takes a lot of work here. You can't wait for the guy next to you to do it. You have to do it. Another problem that, that, that people have nowadays is you say, 
this is the way that it's going to be. And everybody goes, okay. And then they ignore that completely. Because when they were growing up, their parents said, now this is the way that it's going to be. And probably for the most part that was true. But at the same time, the kids got, go, got away with murder. At other classes on the UNI campus, the professor says, this is the way that it's going to be at the beginning of the semester. And then, well, why don't we throw out that third test since you all flunked it, you know, this kind of stuff. So pretty soon the whole society learns that, that whenever somebody says, this is the way that it's going to be, that uh, that doesn't mean that. What that means is it's going to be a lot less than that, and don't worry about it. Any, practically anything will be acceptable. And so uh, when you're working with a group like this and you, and, and you want them to understand that you're serious, then you have to go beyond that. And if you have to walk out of a rehearsal, then you have to walk out of a rehearsal so that people get themselves into a different thinking mode than where they've been previously so that they start to realize that you're not kidding that's to shake people up to make them realize that I am serious and that we are going to come up to a certain level of performance and nothing else will be acceptable the Glee Club is that it's that its focus is music 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 you know it's not the Christmas shows it's not the trips over to Europe it's not the banquets at the end of the school year it's music and 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 that's why we're all in Glee Club is because we like music and we like to sing It was the first time I'd ever been out of the States. I'd never, I've never seen the ocean before this trip. Um, the farthest I've been was like New Mexico or Texas. I'd, I'd pretty much just been in the state of Iowa. So It's the farthest I've ever gone, first time I've ever flown overseas, uh, even outside the country. And just going over to Europe was just, in and of itself, was just great. Every place in Europe seems to have these just gorgeous and amazing cathedrals where if you, if you make the right sounds and we do what we're supposed to do, 